30 years ago, this kind of performance would have got you a world record. Today, if you did it in the high street, it would get you a speeding ticket. Welcome to the new world of America's Cup racing. So how do you sail or fly these boats? Well, I talked to one of the most experienced foiling sailors, Paul Campbell James, about what makes the new AC45 tick. Yeah, they're, the, they're exactly the same boats and we've just um, modified a couple of small bits. The big one is the centreboard cases. We've put curved boards in with um, T's or L's on the bottom and then we've put uh, T rudders in. So the big difference this time will be that the boats will foil downwind. Um, we won't see the Jenicas quite so much um, and they'll go a lot faster. Mm. The boards go up and down in the same way that they used to. Um, there's a post and it's uh, all done on ropes and pulleys. Um, the only difference being that the clutches at the bottom are a bit, a bit bigger and um, they lean onto the winches. Um, and then you can move the boards back and forwards, which is adjusting the rake. And the adjustment of the rake is done normally by the helmsman on the opposite side of the boat. And that adjustment um, changes the angle of attack on the tip. And that in turn gives you the lift on the lured hull. So that changes the amount of lift that you can, you can generate. So exactly. presumably in, at high speeds you need less rake because you need less angle of attack. Exactly. And at low speeds you need more. Exactly. There's 10, there's 10 degrees of movement within the tip. Um, you can go 7 degrees of tip back, which gives you 7 degrees worth of lift and you can go to minus three forward. Now the minus three you use when you're lowering the boards because the boards can get quite hard to drop. So you actually rake them forwards to make the boards suck down, which means the, the crew work in that is quite a lot easier. And, and how does that um, actually happen though? On these boats it's with, it's with ropes, but how are you trimming the board backwards and forwards? That's on a button, I gather. Yeah, yeah, these, these buttons here actually. So um, the helmsman would stand here with the, or sit here with the tiller, would be parked about here. And then if they're feeling like it, they'll have a little hike out, but they are helmsmen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you just play with these buttons. So the green is starboard and red is port. And if we, oh, they're, just, they're actually turned off at the moment, but um, that's, this is just an electronic system. And these, um, they run to the opposite board. So um, you just move the, move forward to move the top of the board forward and backwards to move the back of the board forward. How sensitive are they? Well, one touch like that would be about half a degree. Um, and kind of typically when you're going along upwind, um, sorry, downwind, you'd be, you'd be playing kind of maybe two or two and a half degrees, um, depending on sea state and speed. And, and how much can you actually feel it on the helm? Is it, do you, is it like trimming anything else? You can, you get that instant feel? It, you do more, it, it's more out of sight. So you looking, you can see down towards the lured hull and you kind of look to see the distance between the bottom of the boat and the water. And you're trying to keep it um, a certain height off the water all the time and you, you just play it to that really. Um, when you accelerate, the initial thing is that the front of the boat will want to go down as you accelerate and then it will even out. So there might have to be a little bit of adjustment when you're changing speed. But um, yeah, the board is the board comes with a certain geometry where actually when it gets close to the surface, it, it stables out itself. The first thing is that the tip comes out of the water, so there's less area lifting. But secondly, when it gets close to the surface, there's not much uh, vertical part in the water. So consequently, the boat slips sideways. And that slipping sideways means that the, the actual horizontal bit has less lift. So you kind of get the feeling where the boat comes to the top, slips sideways, the lift decreases so it comes down and then it grips again, you get more lift and it rises again and that, 
that's the, the geometry that the kind of Team New Zealand style of board that they invented in the last America's Cup. That must be a weird feeling. It is quite weird, and obviously the big slip sideways changes a lot of the trimming stuff. So you've got to trim the wing on as the boat's coming sideways because the the angle of attack moves forward, or the apparent wind angle moves forward, and occasionally the jib even even backs, or not backs, but flaps slightly. Really? So it's, there's a lot of sheet movement that's needed when you are in that initial foiling stage. Now tell me about the rudders. You mentioned you've got T foils on yep. the rudders. Um, is there an is there adjustment on those? There is. There's a small adjustment, and it moves moves from kind of minus one and a half degrees to plus one and a half degrees and um, you do it simply with just this corkscrew arrangement here and it just moves this top bearing house um, in the last America's Cup and in this World Series they had they had a rule where you can move the rudder rake before the start but you can't move it in the race and it's exactly the same the next America's Cup is different and you can move the rudders during the race but for this they are set so the kind of the tactics on that are that you will set it up so that you will be a little bit bow down for the downwind, but that will mean you're slightly faster upwind. The issue with being slightly bow down downwind is that you don't have much rudder in the water, so it feels quite sketchy. And you know, when you get going faster and you go even more bow down, or in a bear away, as we saw with the New Zealanders in the America's Cup, if you do a bear away and one of the rudders comes out and the front goes down, all the rudders can come out and you can do the big the big slow down, nose dive, pitch pole kind of moments. So. so now just tell us why you'd need to adjust that. I mean, is that like the trim on, on an aircraft or? Absolutely, it's just like the tail on an aircraft. So where the boards adjust the height that the boat flies, the rudders more adjust the pitch that the boat's flying. So if you want to fly bow down, you put more lift on the back. If you want to fly bow up, you put less lift on the back. And it's, it's pretty much as simple as that. And it's, it's, it's just another trim setting effectively. So it's the same as um, how much you would pull on your kicker in a RS800 or something like that. And it's just a trim setting that you have to change different wind speeds. And ideally you change in different, in different legs, but you're not allowed. So you've got, to, you've got to have an overall setting that you're happy with. The Portsmouth America's Cup World Series event kicks off on Thursday the 23rd of July. On Friday it's practice racing and on Saturday the real action takes place. Six boats, one race course, out here, you've got to be here.